All right, so this is how you get free forms, or at least this is how I got mine. Now, I just want to start off by saying, put that sponge to rest. Over sponging your hair, it ain't gonna do nothing for you. I done seen a nigga sponge his head until that hoe so flat it like a piece of black construction paper. Don't do that. All right, so how I got mine. When I started out, I never, I done had like three process of free forms. I never used a sponge or a brush to start them out. What I started by doing is I would literally just do this. Like, dude, I would just get like a little piece and just twist on it like in class or whatever until it got like a little bit of form to it. Not too much. Unless you want it to be like traditional locks, you never want to twist to the root. So I twisted like a little bit with my fingers, just a little bit. It was still a fro up under, but I twisted a little bit with my fingers when I was first starting out. And then I two strand twisted it and I just by myself. And when I tried to wash it out because of the hair texture I got, that she was not finna wash out. <laughs> I kept on trying to wash it out, it didn't. But washing will make your hair lock up quick, especially if you wash it with like cool water. You don't wanna wash your hair with no hot ass water. That's just gonna dry your scalp out and just have you out here looking homeless by the head. Don't do that. But washing your hair is gonna make it lock up. I don't know who started telling people that walking around with, with a dirty ass head was gonna make your hair lock up quicker. And I can't stress this enough. Wash your hair, bro. Wash it. Uh, it's a lot of y'all niggas walking around looking like somebody that crushed up some saltine crackers on your scalp. I'm talking about nigga can't even do this as soon as you get in, like you've been stirring black coffee with your finger. Like you need to wash your hair. It's gonna make the lock up faster. And if you don't wash it, people be, oh nigga, I went six months without washing it. But then they can only grow their hair out for nine months or a year. What you see on what waves after that, cause they gotta cut that shit off cause it's gonna fall out. Especially if you not getting a retwist, you gotta keep your hair healthy. You know what I'm saying? Like you should not have to grow, you should not have to grow it out more than once. I did, cause I wasn't taking care of it. And I was listening to other people saying, don't wash it, don't do nothing to it. You gotta wash it, you got to. And putting a little oil on your scalp is not gonna kill you. You should not be walking around with no gray ass scalp. So yeah, really all I did, I twisted it just a little bit with my fingers, just enough, just so it'll start to mat up a little bit. And so then, I, like I said, I two strand twisted it and after I, those wouldn't wash out, I just left it. Another thing don't do, don't just excessively twist the front of it because you want because you want the front of your head to just drop down like you cheap key for something. I wanted to do that when I was first started out because like I wanted to be like cheap key, like Playboy Cardi, and I wanted to just hang in my face. Like this right here, this is overrated. You gonna get tired of this. Like you, you, I promise you gonna get tired of this. It's gonna get in your eyes, you wanna tie it back. Do not over twist the front of your hair just to do that. Cause you can actually, by over twisting, you can thin it out. Like you can just thin your hair all the way out and it can fall out in the front. Like if you want it to be even with the rest of your head and you don't want it to be like real thin in the front and real thick in the back, like looking weird, just let it, let it do its thing. If you twist one part, twist all of it. If you don't twist none of it, if you twist, if you don't twist one part, don't twist none of it, you know what I'm saying? You want it to, like, don't, don't be doing that. And retwist and dry is gonna make it fall out. So if you over style it and do all of that to it, it's not gonna look unique. And I feel like that's one of the things that a lot of people is going for. When they get free forms, they just want it to look unique. They don't want it to look like cheap key for like, they went to the shop and somebody did it. And I understand that. It depends on how you want them to look. Like if you want it to be like real manicured, then you can just go get it twisted and keep it twisted. But if you want it to be more like, like up, like before I separate them out, put a picture or something. But yeah, dress came out curly. And if anyone of y'all, we any water drinking that niggas got something to say about it, hit me. But before I separate them out, we can go watch like an older video of mine from like a month ago or something. Before I separated them, it was way thicker, like especially at the top. So if you don't want them to be that thick, you can separate them and twist them more. If you want them to look more manicured, but if you want them to look more like free form or whatever, then do less to it. Just wash it basically. Just wash it once you get that initial little twist, that initial little form to it. All you gotta do is wash it and separate it as you want. I can't tell you exactly how to get them. Yo, it'll never look like somebody else. And it'll never look exactly the way you want it to look. You just gotta let it do what it wanna do. I keep on saying it because I see so many people talk about it on YouTube, 
Oh, bro, don't wash that. I went nine months without washing my hair. Oh, bro, I went six months with that. Oh, bro, you ain't gotta wash it ever. I'm like, hell no, nah. like, bro, hell no. Nah. I know some of y'all niggas itch right here, and then you take your finger out and that hoe smell like raw onions and shit. Don't do that. Hell no. Nah. Wash it. Another thing, if you want your hair to look more freeformish, but you also want to style it in different ways, you can still do that. Like, you ain't got to be out here like Bob Marley just because you don't want your hair to look manicured. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can two-strand twist it or whatever yourself, or just don't do it to the root. Like, if you, like, you can two-strand twist it without really retwisting it. That's what I did. I'm going to put up a video, like, how I did that myself. Just two-strand twist it myself so I can get over my graduation cap. But I never did it anywhere near the root. I just twist two strands twisted it and it still had a throw up under it but i could fit my cap over it and so i did that and when i took it out that shit was hard because like it wasn't real thin like i feel like if you retwist it too much it just even if your hair healthy like it can look real thin because it ain't nothing but scalp showing you know what i'm saying and i ain't got nothing against that if you like keep your hair retwisted but if you want it to be more i don't know unique looking more free looking don't do that like not to the root at least because you can still have it curly after a two strand twist without twisting to the root that's what i did so yeah if somebody asked me exactly how i did it i didn't really do that much all i do is retwist not retwist all i do is wash it and that's about it like if i want two strand twist myself i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it to the root listen it's a big one too i recommend anybody that's starting do it when, they, when your hair is like small. Do it when you got like a real small fro or something. Like don't start when your hair already long. I feel like it can fuck it up. And it like mess up the process of it. Cause a lot of this, it's, it's a real cool process when you do it like this, because you can actually see it growing from like sprouting out. Like some of the, some of them, they gonna be like turning to two or three, like, and you can like see it start to form out and take its own shape over your head. And I feel like that's the coolest part. So don't, don't overdo it like it really ain't that hard to do like i said just when you got a small fro or something like that just twist it a little bit to get the form on it and then you'll be good from there it's the reason a lot of y'all niggas be walking around scalp be smelling like the sticky part on the envelope don't let it be you also wear your hair the way you want to wear it bro don't wear it for a girl don't wear it to impress no homeboy don't wear it because it's a trend wear it however you want to wear it and take, just experiment with it. Like I dyed the blonde shit and a lot of days I really don't even like it, but it's like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Another thing, bro, just cause you got free forms don't mean you nasty or dirty or broke. If you don't want to keep a cut on the sides and the back, then that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Just be free. But if you, if you want it to be more maintained and look more, what most people say is presentable, then just keep a cut on the side, keep a line up, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's a few of y'all niggas look like y'all be walking in traffic with a cup of some chain. So yeah, bro, do it cause you wanna do it. Don't do it for no girl. Cause if you take a lot of these wigs off and shit, they be looking Frederick Douglass's hair. But yeah, I just say wash it. Cause like if, when your hair locked up, it's easy to maintain. And you ain't really gotta do shit to it. That's why I say wash it so it can lock up. If you a nigga that don't wash your hair, you not trustworthy, bro. You not, I can't trust you with nothing, nigga. If you don't wash your hair, I know it's a thick ass ring around your toilet, your sink, and your bathtub. Another thing, if you got a fucked up head, this a hairstyle for you. A lot of y'all niggas be looking like Stewie on dialysis. If you got that type of head, if you know you look like from the Tom Brady footballs, waves ain't for you. I ain't gonna lie. Some of y'all niggas be having waves. Hell nah. Let me just, hell nah. If you got a fucked up head, don't do it. Wear a beanie or something. But if you know you got a fucked up hair shape and a low cut, put on a beanie or something, a snapback. Just don't be out here disrupting the peace in neighborhoods, having kids crying and shit outside. Don't do it. Just get you some shit. <laughs> get you some shit like this or something. But yeah, so basically what I did, twist my fingers, then two strand twist, wash it, just keep on washing it, it's growing separated as you want it, separated to get it how you want to look. And that's really about it, this video short, cause it ain't really nothing to say. But yeah, give me the 50 likes on this video though, try to. But yeah, subscribe, bruh. And give me some channel ideas. There's only so much shit I can talk about when it comes to free forms, vlogs, hair, whatever. 
give me some other ideas, some shit to do. I don't know. Give me the 50 subscribers. I think we only gotta get to 50 and go live or whatever. So.